This meeting has been with the landlord of Kampala. This is the metropolitan area as well as the suburbs around the city. As you saw for yourselves, the turn up was extremely good. In fact, we were overwhelmed to receive the number of people. Going forward, we will definitely call them in their specific sex so that we can have, but it has been a very successful engagement. We have shared with the landlords of this city of Kampala on the new direction we are taking, where every citizen and every person who is playing any role in the economy and running any economic activity must pay their fair share of tax. So the rental income tax is one of the tax heads that has been performing poorly. Despite the growth of about 100% over the last three years, it is still far below the expected capacity. So today we had the opportunity to speak to the landlords to encourage them to do the right thing so that everybody pays their fair share of tax, but also to listen to them and know the challenges. What are some of the things that cause them not actually to pay their fair share of tax? And I think it is, it is a good meeting that we've had and the key recommendations we've agreed on going forward is that every landlord who has not been registered for tax will be registered and going forward will start paying. But we have also encouraged them all to get on the system of IFRIS so that the receipts they issue to the tenants are genuine receipts, uh, which can be proved by the fact that they are fiscalized. Because a lot of complaints we've been receiving is that people pay their landlords, but they don't get the receipts. So that has been encouraging some under declaration. And I hope that going forward, people will comply. But of course, if they don't comply, then uh, we have a duty to collect tax. We will do audits. We gave them examples of some of the big commercial buildings we've audited and we found big tax liabilities. But that would be avoided for people to pay penalties and interest if they voluntarily comply. So we've been just encouraging voluntary compliance because we realize that for us to develop this country, we need the cooperation and the support of everybody, including our taxpayers. And of course, they raised also very legitimate concerns about the way they've been handled previously by some of our tax collectors or the way they have not been well understood. And we have committed and to improve on those areas. And also the fact that they've not been, previously they've not been properly sensitized and educated about their responsibilities and obligations. All that came out and we have committed to address. Thank you.